Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X news, and we actually have some pretty cool internal things too as well we're going to get to go and talk about when it comes to all the upcoming drops that could be happening all throughout today. And as well, if you guys saw yesterday, we actually had a very, very good restart day with things flying off the shelves everywhere. So hopefully today will be also a good day too. But if not, we actually at least have some really good information that you guys can be all aware of as well. We also do have a very kind of special thing throughout this video. We actually do have a sponsor, which we're going to get to in a few seconds. But I just want to let you guys know whenever I do do these sponsors, that lets me go and do things like give out the PlayStation 5 that we have for these giveaways going on. So I always do love and appreciate if you guys do go and check them out. So without further ado, I'm going to go talk about that before we do our usual intros. We usually have our sell -out links all linked down below too as well the amazon links the twitter twitch streams and all that stuff as well if you guys want to go check that on out but first let's go and segue into the brand new sponsor for today's video which i'm going to go showcase right now let's go enjoy it i'm proud to announce this video is sponsored by hunting clash which is linked down below hunting clash is a free-to-play mobile game available on both ios and android in hunting clash you play and hunt through breathtaking hunting grounds all across the world there's also a lot of different types of weapons from snipers all the way to bows to go and use. Plus, I love that they have awesome gear like sonars and super buffs to add to your gameplay. There's even over 100 different animals to hunt from all across the world. One of the coolest things I thought was that they even have player versus player things to do in the game, such as duels and championships in the game. You guys basically can't go and compete versus other players. And they even have events every week to keep the gameplay fresh. Check out the game, link down below in the description and in the pinned message down in the comment section down below. And thank you so much, Hunting Clash, for sponsoring this video. Definitely, guys, go and give it a download and check that out. And because of really awesome sponsors like this, which I always love doing videos like this for, because they also go and provide us for really cool things, like lets me go and do things like the PlayStation 5 giveaways on our channel itself. So because they're really cool sponsors that go and help out our channel, especially when they're really cool games, and you guys can check it out and play it on your phone, and anytime you guys are bored or just chilling, relaxing in bed, and if you're in the passenger seat in the car, or just guys are just hanging out on your couch, and because of awesome people like them that do go and support us and our content, they let us go and give back to all of you guys and hook you guys on up. So if you guys want to go and check out a really cool game, and especially because it is free, go and check on the comment section down below in the pinned message and in the description too as well. And I hope you guys will have some fun doing some hunting. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching this. And once again, thank you so much, Hunting Clash, for sponsoring this video. Now into the actual video itself. Thank you guys all so much for watching the little sponsored segment. Like I said, it always supports the channel a lot. So if you guys want to go and download it, check out the link down below. So we actually have a lot of interesting things to be on the lookout for all throughout today. And one of the major ones that I think a lot of people are talking about and bringing on up is the Best Buy restock. So there's actually two major things that we're on the lookout for when it comes to Best Buy. Number one, if you guys saw my video a few days ago, we actually did go and have a confirmation that PlayStation 5 stock did arrive at their actual, like our contacts Best Buy store. So it's very, very nice. Or at least we do know they are sitting on a little bit of stock. And we've also been seeing a lot of restocks for the past three or four weeks, regardless, mainly on the fact alone that they've been very consistent with their restocks and overall been doing good. Now, of course, this is not 100% guaranteed. They could also be building up stock for the next restock or whatever, but we've seen very, very active days on Thursday. Thursdays and Fridays for Best Buy. So that's number one. But number two, I think a little bit more like, I guess, good supportive argument is the fact that Best Buy in the past like 48 hours has actually done a lot of website updates when it comes to pretty much everything. So the GPUs, they were messing around with the listings, the Xbox Series X, and as well as the PlayStation 5s. And if you guys saw earlier on this week too as well, we did also see that Best Buy did include a brand new bundle with basically the Ratchet and Clank bundle. So we know two like major things from that. Number one, they're adding new things for people to go and buy, which is always very nice to go and see, which realistically, why would they be adding bundles for a Ratchet and Clank bundle if they don't want to be selling them sometime in your future? Once again, it's not 100% confirmed, but a lot of things are looking very likely. It could always be postponed like next week or whatever. But also number two, since we do know they were messing around with the internal APIs, it just makes sense. Because why else would an employee be messing around with the website? And we've kind of actually noticed throughout all these restacks, if we see an employee's Go, they sometimes can add stock on the actual website. So sometimes they actually go and restock up the websites themselves. They have to sometimes mess around the internal API for that. As well, sometimes they have to change stuff. They could also be changing how the drops work, more so on like the CAPTCHA side, maybe updating or changing CAPTCHAs, et cetera. Or also maybe just changing like just internal things, updating things, maybe having the websites be a little bit more clean. Basically, if there is a reason for them to be updating this stuff, they're going to be doing it then. 
So as many of you guys know, it always makes it and kind of improves up the likelihood of a drop happening as of today. And we've also seen them do a lot of drops on Thursdays and Fridays. Well, once again, though, not 100% confirmed, but at least for all the previous stuff, it does look likely. As well, we also have been a little bit more on the lookout too as well for GameStop. Now, we actually have also seen GameStop do a little bit of an Instagram post. I may make a separate video on that earlier, like later on throughout today, if they don't do a proper restock. So let you guys know on that, because actually a little bit of GameStop news kind of floating around. But we have not seen a GameStop PS5 restock this week. And there's been a little bit of rumors floating around all throughout today for it. But I just want to remind you guys, we do usually see more of GameStop restocks and maybe like Wednesday. And we also did have the Xbox Series X walk-in restocks and switches that were on Tuesday and Wednesday this week. So realistically, it would actually not surprise me if they do not restock at all. But with a little bit of rumors, and like I said, they were making a few like little next-gen stuff on Instagram. Let's like I said, I'll talk about that for another video. So make sure you guys have that notification on, especially for the PS5 giveaway and all that good stuff. But I'm just letting you guys all know there is some good potentials on for all of that stuff in general. So I'll be on the lookout for it either way, just more so for the PS5 or maybe even honestly GPUs because we're still not sure exactly how GameStop does all their GPU restacks as well. We also feel other things to go talk about too. Amazon is still very much overdue. We always have the Amazon links down below in case you guys do always want to go and check and see just throughout the day or whatever. Always be on the lookout for that, for the warehouse consoles, controllers, or whatever. But we also are still waiting for any Amazon news. We still have that Prime Day rumor kind of floating around. And I'm still waiting for one of my real life friends to go give me some good information at the local Amazon store, like the warehouse stores. Pretty much usually whenever get stock arrives, it's always a good sign for that. So I'll let you guys know if I do say anything and throughout these next like few days, few weeks or whatever. I've been asking throughout the past like two weeks now, so I'm probably feeling annoying on that. But at least on the bright side, if we get any information, I'll let you guys know. As well, when it comes to other major retailers for this, we did not go and see any PS Direct emails. They always could go work in like a little bit of a YOLO weird drop mix down in if they want to. But we did not go and see any of them all throughout today. So we'll kind of go and see. Maybe, maybe they'll just go through on a random one. They did one yesterday, which once again, we actually saw a lot of folks out there getting some consoles from the last PS Direct, which was very, very nice to go and see. If any of you guys did go get any consoles, definitely leave a comment down below. Uh, but as well, we also did have the Walmart drop. We keep on still seeing more canceled orders showing on up, which I do not like seeing. I am not a fan of people having their orders canceled. But we actually have been seeing a few more canceled orders floating around throughout on Twitter and Discord and also that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It really is not fun, but I don't know. I just hope you guys can go get like a free gift card or some of that from Walmart. But at least we did know it did drop, even though it was only a PS5 digital. But we also did go and see a Sam's Club PS5 restock last night, if you guys did go and see that. So at least we can kind of go and check those both off our normal wait list for today. But some other little places that we usually go and talk about all for all the restocks throughout today, besides like the Best Buy and GameStop potentials, is... Costco. Costco, I've been saying this now for like two weeks. We still have not seen a Costco restock in such a long time. So just be on the lookout for them for either an Xbox Series X bundle or a PlayStation 5 bundle. Either or, they're so, so, so much overdue. And the point where even like Sam's Club was not very much overdue. So I'm actually happy that Sam's Club has actually bolted on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 bundles all throughout this week, because if not, I would be so worried, <laughs> honestly. And of course, as I mentioned too as well, when it comes to all this stuff, at Costco is very, very much overdue. And also the same topic for that stuff. We did go and see some stock arrive for Myers, like Myers throughout this last week or so. So maybe we can maybe be on the lookout for a little bit of a walk-in for Myers throughout this weekend. I would actually very much like to go and see that, mainly because we have seen enough stock floating around for Myers. So the more stock we get, the better. And I want them to actually do a proper walk-in besides just an Xbox Series X and S, which we have been seeing a lot of that for. Same thing too as well with Walmart. But once again, still, I have not actually seen any Xbox Series Xs in my local Walmart stores, only Xbox Series S's. So you guys ever go and see a picture, please send me a tweet for that so I can actually go and see it. As well, for some other little side things too, as per usual, Newegg. Make sure you guys go and check on Newegg. We actually have seen them go and do a PS5 and Xbox restock this week for the actual Newegg shuffle, but... We haven't actually seen anything for the past few days or so, but we've been seeing a lot of the restocks for all these other major retailers, which is usually probably bigger stock anyway. So I'm A-OK -okay with that. We also still have that BH photo we were talking about before in a separate video. So always been a lookout for them too as well whenever they do do a proper restock. It's always nice to go and see that and also seeing other side of retailers working their way on in. So make sure you guys add yourselves on the wait list in case you guys would like. And of course, as well, we also have like little cider restocks too, like the Anton line. We did already go and see Anton line go do a restock throughout this week. 
week already so i kind of still doubt it for today and usually fridays it's, be, it's like a nice either reset day or a nice chill day so i'm gonna hope in all honesty that best buy restocks today because then that pretty much means we have a really good week and really good stuff all around here from like target and walmart and everything else and the gamestop walk-ins i would love it so i really do hope that best buy does restock throughout today but that's pretty much about it for all the news for today's videos. We just maybe have a few little cider retailers too. We did see a Gamefly restock for Xbox. So maybe on the look in case they want to work in like a YOLO bundle. But so you guys all know, or same like the Coles things too as well. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. We'll probably have a lot more news all throughout today and this weekend. I'm going to be tracking up everything the best I can. So be on the lookout for it. Make sure you guys have the notifications on for the PS5 giveaway and everything else on the channel. Like the video if you guys enjoy it. As well, make sure you guys definitely go and download Hunting Clash for the lovely sponsor of this video just because they do support us. for doing cool things like PS5 giveaways on the channel and all of that. So please go give them a download. Give them a chance. Give them a try. And all that stuff that will be linked down below in the description as well as in the pinned comments for sure. As well, we always have the Weebles and all that stuff. You guys want to check the description for that or the Coinbase as well. And of course, the Amazon links, as I always go mention for you guys to go check and see. And of course, the Twitter and Twitch stream if you guys would like to follow either or. But I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. And once again, thank you so much, Hunting Clash, for sponsoring this video. We'll have a lot more videos all throughout the rest of the day. So be on the lookout for that. I appreciate you guys all so much for existing. And hopefully we could all get our console sometime soon. Love you guys so much. And thank you guys all so much for watching.